There's many ways to get toenail fungus, but the overaccumulation of glyconeogenesis is one of them. Here's how. You said toenail fungus. That's coming from your gut? Yeah, it's coming from your gut because what's happening is you have too many proteins inside of the stomach. Remember, the hydrochloric acid is not hot enough to break it down. So what happens is the protein starts to putify. When the protein starts to putify, the liver and the pancreas start sending these proteins, enzymes to help break it down. So guess what it break the protein down into? Sugars. So these sugars start Firming is super slow And then when the sugars ferment super slow You have something called candida albicans Which love fermented foods in your stomach So when people see toenail fungus actually in the toes It's a good sign because that means it's trying to leave When candida and yeast build up You create fungus and mold And then what happens is it enters into the bloodstream And it goes throughout the extremities of the body And you start seeing it show up as deposit In all of your fingernails, your toenails You start getting dry patches Them don't be dry patches Them actually be ringworms you start getting dandruff on the top of your head. All of this is nothing but fungus and mold trying to come from the body. It's better in your toenails and in your fingernails, which is at the end of your extremities, than inside the bloodstream, tainting the blood, because then you die of acidosis. Wow. So, so when you when you think about disease, we have been bamboozled and we have been we have been basically programmed to believe that our body's natural capability of healing itself is a disease. And that's why I teach all of my students and all of my clients is you have to pick a side. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. I'm going to tell you how to get this done ASAP. You're going to get one of them little foot buckets from Walmart or CVS. Fill that deal up with hot water. Once you fill it up with hot water, you're going to put three tablespoons of sea salt in that deal. Once you put three tablespoons of sea salt in there, you're going to mix it all up. Then you're going to get some organic tea tree oil. You're going to put four drops of tea tree oil on both sides of the feet. You're going to mix it up. Once you mix it up, you're going to get some oregano oil, two drops of oregano oil. Mix it up. Get you a hard bristle toothbrush. Stick your feet in that deal and you're going to brush the out of your toenails. Do it for 30 minutes a day. Each day, man, your foot fungus will be gone in two weeks. I got rid of my toenail fungus in two weeks, y'all. My toenails was black as my shirt. If we gonna call it disease, then that mean we believe in what they taught us. How about we change the perception? Cause perception is what molds and shape your reality. So if you look at the symptomologies of what they call disease, it's actually the body having a miraculous way of actually healing itself. Because remember, we was created in the image and the likeness of God. God.